So in the long seated position, we're basically going through the Y motion. Uh, keep in mind, we're not gonna get these things dead perfect, say if we had access to cables and all the other things we typically use. It's gonna be a lighter weight band, so I'm going with the half inch super band. And the biggest thing here is make sure your thumbs are rolled to the outside. So as you come up, what we don't wanna do is come up thumbs to the inside like a regular front raise. Even if you were doing a front raise, we should have that elbow turned. Otherwise, we're gonna end up pinching either part of the rotator cuff, the bicep tendon goes through the shoulder joint. So we wanna go ahead and make sure we're staying to the outside. So loop the band around one. You may need to go around both feet depending on your tension, or you may need to go around one and then alternate sides. Just depends on what kind of tension you have with your band. So from here, catching it with my thumbs to the outside, and I'm not gonna have range from the bottom all the way up. So what I wanna do is make sure I can bring the arms all the way up. So if I lose it here, I lose it here. Your movement is draw the shoulder blades down and back as you go. So it's not letting the shoulders hike up. I'm actually gonna sink my shoulders down as I bring the arms up. Sink my shoulders down as I bring the arms up. So the idea is we're trying to move the shoulder blades into a much more stable position, get the shoulders away from the ears as we go into an overhead movement. 